Hey guys, it's Art Weston. Uh, I may have stumbled on something that could be significant um, for those that like to bottom fish or fish for fish that uh, have a tendency to uh, swim into cover. And uh, if they're large enough or the cover is dense enough um, or sharp enough, right, if you tend to lose fish in those scenarios, this might be an important finding for you. What I was trying to determine was for the same amount of force or drag on the line, does thinner line versus thicker line stretch the same distance, right? You could assume that they would. So, you know, a 20 pound line under 10 pounds of pressure versus a 100 pound line under 10 pounds of pressure, uh, thinking they might stretch the same amount. Um, I tested it on suffix key line, IGFA line in a previous video and the results were quite dramatic. Um, the stretch of the thinner line was multiple times higher than the thicker line. So the implications of that, if this second test confirm it, uh, is that if you want to keep those fish out of the rocks, out of the logs, uh, you'll be better off if you use thicker line. Um, because for the same amount of force that they're going to pull, um, it will stretch uh, a shorter absolute distance if your line is thicker. So this wouldn't apply necessarily to braid, uh, probably wouldn't have that much of a difference, but for definitely for copolymer and likely monofilament to fluorocarbon, it would have the same effect. So what I've done is I've already tested this suffix 100 pound um, Tritanium Plus um, at 30 pounds of force. It traveled uh, an inch and a half at 30 pounds of force. I started with um, an inch um, in terms of distance between these bollards, so you have to subtract that inch. Um, I am zeroing out a, a 20 pound version of the same line that actually breaks right around 31 ish pounds. So um, hopefully it won't break below 30 and we'll get it to the 30 pound mark and we can take a reading. And if it's more than that inch and a half, um, that will give further evidence that that thinner line will stretch further under the same amount of force, which I think could put right some of those fishing circumstances into question. Um, so let's see what it does. I gotta be a little bit careful right at the 30 pound mark. Like I said, I don't want it to break. I can already tell it's gone well over an inch and a half already. And this is just eight pounds. So I think this is a real finding. Maybe it's well known. Um, I never heard of it. Um, wow. It's gonna be multiple times. So we're 25 pounds. I'll start to be careful here so I don't exceed. Oh, dang. It broke at 28.6, but let's just measure it because maybe it doesn't matter. Um, so five absolute inches, so that means minus one, it went four inches. Um, so let's say roughly three-ish times further uh, than the same amount of force uh, on the 100-pound line. So that's a lot, right, of distance um, from a difference perspective. So this might put a little chink in a light line um, fisherman um, if they're intending on, um, on uh, landing um, fish. Uh, I think for tournament fishermen, uh, I think this could be fairly significant or commercial fishermen or otherwise. So anyway, really interesting. Um, I'm, I'm a bit surprised um, again, maybe this is a known, um, um, uh, you know, attribute of, of line. I just wasn't aware of it. So anyway, hope you guys like that. Bye.